because it takes us to the next point, which is you need to outperform yourself every day. It's good for us. In fact, it is advisable for us to compare or to gauge our progress by the competition, numbers of units sold, uh, conversion ratios, those things. You must do that. You'll get some more details on that as well. But I will tell you this, that if you are not striving to outperform yourself every day, do you think that trickles down to your salespeople? Yes or yes? You bet it does. It trickles right down to them. I'll give you an example if I can. I, was, uh, I, I do yoga, on a, a, a rather intense form of yoga, about five times a week. Uh, not too long ago, a few days ago, I was in the yoga class, and you do it in front of a mirror. And in my peripheral, which was my first mistake, because you're supposed to focus, I saw this guy over here, about 30 years old, buff as can be, had muscles on his earlobes, kind of buff, just ripped and tanked. And of course, I do what guys do. I sucked it in, and I put it out. And I, started, and I started to do the yoga in this form. <laughs> and I fell over and I tripped and I was out of balance. Why? My comparison was against this young guy who very well could have been the age of my son. I was comparing over here when the reality is I need to be comparing here. And so after a few minutes of highly charged ego, I realized that ain't going to work. Calm down. Do it, do it for myself, and it happened to be one of the better practices I'd ever had. So the point is, compare your progress every single day to the progress the day before, and commit to those little, bitty, tiny distinctions. Do you know what that is? That's a matter of mindset, and it's a matter of you implementing the vision for yourself. If you have the vision for yourself, would it, be, would it seem reasonable that, you that your vision would trickle down or transfer down to your salespeople? Yes, it was. So your people are a mirror reflection of you. If you have the proper vision of selling homes, selling out your community, servicing your consumers, et cetera, et cetera. You name it. You name the vision. You want to be the leader in the marketplace. Whatever your vision is, and that vision is intense with you, it will be as equally as intense with your salespeople. And that's all a matter of sight. 